Now we're going to have a look at the parts of an existing research paper. The first section is keywords. In this section you type five to six keywords which are used to index your paper. The section is the abstract. This is a summary of the entire contents of the paper. The next part of this paper introduces the field of emotional agents and also gives a brief literature review of others working in the area. It then goes on to focus more on the actual topic of the paper which is generating emotions in artificial intelligence and also gives references to work in this area. Next we have an example of a figure. As you can see, the figure has the title underneath it and it is mentioned in the text by name, figure one. Do not type in your text, see the figure below or see the figure above. After the specifics of the emotional agent are given, an evaluation is then spoken about. As you can see here, this text has detailed information about how the agent was evaluated with 18 volunteers who carried out some testing with a pet dog agent and then filled out a survey. There is also included illustrations or screenshots of the application that the uh, participants of the survey saw and the questions that were in the survey. Included with the questions are also the results that were gathered. Following this there is a results and discussion section which talk about the data that was collected and what the authors think that it means and how that relates to the evaluation of the emotional agent. Any specific data which shows good results is repeated and highlighted. Finally there's a section on conclusions and further work which will conclude what the paper has shown as well as indicating any potential areas for future research in this area. Following this is a full list of references from the papers that were referenced within the text and finally a bibliography talking about the researcher, the author of the paper, in third person. Here's an example of another research paper. This one is formatted differently and also contains a glossary section. In the glossary, you define terms that you'll be using throughout the paper. Next, we have the introduction, which has the literature review information in it, as well as background information about the research project being presented. As you can see, there are a lot of references here. This paper is introducing a new software system and argues that it overcomes some shortcomings of previous systems. And as you can see here in the introduction, those shortcomings have been identified as well as literature which suggests how these systems should really work. In the next related work section, there's another literature review which looks at all the other systems that exist that are similar to the one being described in this paper. Now this helps to add some credibility to what the software is trying to achieve as well as comparing it against systems that have come before.
because the aim is to have your system recognized as addressing extra benefits that other systems haven't done in the past. Next, the actual system is shown in an image and then discussed with screenshots of it working, as well as discussing the technical aspects. The discussion area of this paper contains the results of a survey conducted to get feedback on the system from the users. And finally, it concludes by summarising the advantages of using the system as well as identifying any future developments that the software should take on to improve. If your research has been supported by others, it is nice to give this in an acknowledgement section. And finally, as always, a reference section.